Hey, it's Aaron from GameBoothers.com, checking out Bubble Bobble for Friends on the Nintendo Switch. Remember this music? I think when I was in second or third grade, I we didn't have, ca well, the school I went to didn't have cafeteria, so they would have, um, this is the antiquated term, lunch ladies, uh, women who would come in and just sit in classrooms who were, tapping, and you'd eat your lunch in your classroom. And I remember one of our... Uh, this lady said uh, that her grandson, I think, was a really, really like Bubble Bobble. And she just, she hated the music from it because of the loop. And I remember her just going, like she just kind of had a moment where she just went off about Bubble Bobble. And we were all just sitting there like in, you know, third grade, just looking at her like, wow. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is Bubble Bobble for Friends. Uh, I like that the original arcade game is unlocked right from the beginning. I've played a little bit of it. Uh, I went to the bookshelf forest. I didn't quite spell extend. I missed the T and a star. And bedside bonanza. That's kind of where I left off. So I'm going to resume from there. Now, because it's Bubble Bobble Four Friends, you can play with up to four people. Bub and Bob are obvious, but Peb and Peb and Pab are whatever those things are. I feel like I should know. But, I mean, my knowledge of Bubble Bobble, Rainbow Island, Rainbow Island 2, what's the, the bust and move, all that stuff, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Can I be somebody else? No, I can only pick up. All right, so I unlocked uh, the long shot so my bubbles can uh, fly further away. And I got some kind of goggles thing. You got some cosmetic stuff. So let's check out some Bubble Bobble for friends. I plan on doing a video with my kids. Uh, playing some multiplayer. But for right now, I'm just going to show off some of the, the single player. And this is a word of warning. It's Bubble Bobble. So in case you... Where are the controls again? Okay, now there's a move I can do where I stop. Why am I not able to do it? What is the move? I thought that was like a stop move. I don't know why I'm not able to do it. This is weird. There we go. Oh, gotta grab the fruit. As fast as I can. I'm not going really fast enough. Those peaches though. I'm just saying. Anyway. Let me check on one thing. Okay, there are no absolutely no oh, button setting. Button set. Button settings. So was I crazy? There was no. I legit feel like there was a button to like sort of stomp down on. Yeah, okay, I guess I was wrong. What else is here? Can I just play as play guy? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, that's not what I want to do. What am I doing? If you look up at the top where it says under one player, you'll see a meter. That's my cool off for my ability. So I can't just spam it. Come on, stop it. Oh, oh. Let me just jump over here. There we go. I gotta say the fruit looks really good. And that doesn't look like actual fruit, but 
they're also not real dinosaurs who blow bubbles, so what are you going to do, right? Now, I haven't really played long enough to make, what is it, Baron Von whatever come out, I don't think. That helps we got that long distance. Oh, well, I can turn around, look at that. I don't think I'm going to make it down here to get all these. Oh, look at that. I did. Who would have thought? Ah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I completely dead. I don't like these things, they move too quickly. before they wake up. What's this? Ah, oh, I missed it. Well, the fact that you have the, the fruit itself, then you have the large fruit full of its own fruit in a very nice presentation. Ride a bubble. Okay. Ah, I see. You just press down when you're in the air and you kind of do a little jump. Ah, there's a T that I missed one before. Let me get up here. Ah. There we go. You're dead. I gotta say, they definitely captured the feel of what this game. This is Bubble Bobble, all right. And there's more colors and chocolate covered or dipped bananas and stuff, but it's it's Bubble Bobble. I thought it was interesting to create like a. Uh, a room and then I have and just have that be the background for all the levels just moving around to different spots makes sense that's what I would do come on get out of here there we go the projectiles go all the way across the room I wish mine did oh come on I have no more lives. How do I keep? Okay. Don't know what that's about, but I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Continue with invincibility. No, I'm good. I'm just going to continue on right from there. Four lives again. What's the trade-off? Like, I was in the original game, like, when you die, that was kind of it. Like, the game didn't really give you a whole lot of chances. Oh, wasted my long distance. Okay, see, I have eight of them. Okay. I just missed a letter, too. room is very dusty. It's probably not good. Yep. Look at that. Boom. Got them all. Bubble, bubble. 
So it seems as though they replaced the original jingle that just was on repeat with another jingle that... Uh, that's on repeat. can't fall through. Oh, yeah, you can duck. Okay. Forgot about the crawling part. Well, like a mixture of fruit. Let's do the ducky duck and then... There we go, that's everything. I'm curious to see what happens when you run out of time. Then again, I'm not. I die. Grab that fruit. That D is going to disappear. Ah, that's when the longer distance projectile thing comes in handy. That was a waste. It's not going to go up. These currents make things a little frustrating. Should be a boss battle coming up. Oh, there we go. Grumple Gromit looks very different. I think that's Grumple Gromit. Alright, it's the second boss or third boss I faced. Zip Zap. Looks sort of familiar. Or sort of like the other boss. No, uh, what? No, uh, different color. Oh, boy. You're gonna stop me right under the boss. Okay, that's one way to do it. Okay, what is this thing about to do? Oop. Who likes screen shaking? We got some. I 
I felt the same way with the other boss. I felt like you don't. I never really knew if I was okay. I didn't. There's no meter, but I guess how you gauge it is the boss becomes covered with bubbles, and that means they're on their way to die. Okay, I'm noticing that now. So I thought that was frustrating at first. Now, how do I know how well I'm doing? It's a moot point now because it's dead. I didn't spell extend, but the thunder bubble set. Could have sworn I already had that on. Blow bubbles that attack in a horizontal line when burst. Hmm. This is, well, the fact that you have uh, new abilities and stuff is definitely different from the original Bubble Bobble. On top of graphically and everything else, and four players, all the obvious stuff. All right, so we'll check out Toyland Terminal. Uh, blow Bubble said attack in a horizontal line when burst. I'm going to go with that. Why does Grumple Gromit, assuming that is Grumple Gromit, look so friendly if they're trying to kill me? Oh, nice. Of course, they gave you the perfect, oh, ah, the perfect place to use it. So why am I producing something that seems to happen naturally in the level? Why you have the lightning bubbles rising right from there? I guess whatever. Interesting decision. Of course, I keep missing. There we go. Didn't miss that time. Because when you get the bubbles with the water in it, bubbles with fire in it, bubbles with lightning in it, you just—I felt like you couldn't produce them, but you could. Maybe you could. I don't know. It's been a while. I guess I could find out by just playing the original arcade game, but I've yet to do that. Okay, this is getting complicated. Oh, and the letter disappeared. There we go.
I really wish he could jump jump through floors, but that might make it too easy though. Try this again. Seriously? See the letter on there? I gotta try to make it. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, it's doing well. Until then. Why do I? Why? I just walk right into a spike. At least that lightning will go through the block, so I technically could. Still didn't get it. Because if I could get that one at the top there, much easier. That would be good. Dying right at the end. Okay. There we go. Ah. 
Why? Why would I do this? Yeah, look at that. One letter. There we go. All right, let me go B line for that letter. There we go. Ah, another boss. Let's see. Yeah, they all definitely have a a look. I think, they just, I think the color just changes pretty much. I don't even know how I'm supposed to deal with this. Is this thing gonna blow up or what are we doing here? It seems like we all died, honestly. So. Oh, yeah, I get it. Okay. What am I, I... You really can't get out of the way very easily. Okay, I've made this much more difficult than it needs to be. Apparently. Come on. Gotta use that to get around. And just spam the bubble button. So I'll jump over here. Boom. Wow. That thing is huge. OK. 
Okay, let's see what I get. Bomb bubble set. Blow bubbles that explode after a time. Okay. This is like Bubble Bobble meets Mega Man or something. You, you get something every every level. I dig. I dig. Cosmic Canopy. Alright, I'm just gonna test this one out and I think I think we all kinda get the point. It's bubble bobble with a whole lot of, lot of extras. I didn't think that was going to work. But that bomb didn't even blow. Okay. It's weird. You get an ability. And then the game has the levels produce the exact same thing you just got. Weird. Okay, I can't, how do I get, okay, I know I have to use a bomb to get that thing, but I don't know how. I'm not sure how useful this is. You have to use the currents to get it places, but the timing, I don't know. So it seems like the the bomb bubbles are more useful for like sequencing and bubble solving, which I guess goes without saying since it's timed. So oh, it's nice to get something new every time you go through. It's how you fight a boss though, that's pretty cool. But you can't switch powers though. You just take what you get. So. Yeah, so that is a little bit of Bubble Bobble for friends. It's playing solo, so yeah. It's a game. It's pretty fun. It is repetitive, but that's sort of the Bubble Bobble thing. So yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Stay safe. Take care. Be blessed. Oh, watch some of the videos that you see on the screen and check out the game with this podcast. I always forget to say that. So, yeah, do those things. All right, now I'm gone.